Hello viewers, welcome to the channel. I'm your guy Paul Nato. So in this video today, I'll be showing you on the easiest way on how to change a password using the without using a software. So if it's your first time here, please consider subscribing and click the bell icon down below to enable notifications. So you're just going to change the password using the command prompt, and this uh, I'll be showing you in a very simple steps, just a uh, five minutes time, and then you'll get the idea. So you'll just be using the utilman and the command prompt. So you're just changing our renaming. So before you get that, that that point, just restart your PC until it takes you to the part of, of preparing automatic restart. So you continuously restart your PC for about three to five times. So you're now here. This is your preparing automatic repair. So this point then from here you're just going to easily change the password without using any software but you're just using the current settings. So you click on advanced options, then click on troubleshooting, then you click after advanced options, you click on recovery and then you cancel. So from this point you are going to rename the some features. So you click on next, then click on advanced, then install drivers, then you click OK. So what you're going to do, you're just going to locate the, loc the disk where we've installed the operating system. In my case, I'm using local disk C as the disk that I've installed operating system. Then you click to Windows, then you search for system32. So you click on system32, then from this point you're going to do the utilman on the command prompt, that is cmd. So you search for utilman, then use the F2 key to rename the utilman. So let's just rename it to utilman1. Then you search for cmd, then use the F2 to rename. So you press the F2 key, then type utilman. So renaming the CMD the utilman and then you continue. So from that point just click at any point and then click on cancel. So what you've done at this point just making some changes and then it will be very easy for you to access that point of uh, having the ease access and then you're replacing it with a command prompt. So shut down your PC then after starting it, you are at this point, so you have the, this window, you have the user account, so you must make sure you access the user account that you've done. So you click on the is access icon, and then you access, now this is the point where you see the importance of uh, replacing the utilman, the CMD, and the changing the CMD, the utilman. So you now use the net user command. So type net user, then it will display a list of the account, user account that you're having. So in my case, I'm having the two accounts, BTVC and Paul. So you proceed, type net user, then the account name that you want to change the password. So in my case, I want to change the BTVC, so net user, BTVC, then asterisk, and then you press enter. So at this point, the system will prompt you to enter a password for the user. Then you press enter. It again asks you to confirm the password. After you've done it, then click on, sorry, press enter, and then you proceed. So you've already done that. You've already changed the password for your system. Then you have to exit the command prompt. So again, guys, from this point, you can create another user account, make the account an administrator, and then access every file that you're having in that PC without tempering the password of the user account that you're having. So after that, you just type exit or close the command prompt window, and then you now want to access the account. So this is just Paul, the account that you are not dealing with. So just, it was password free. I just bypassed this using the same way. So you just switch user, go back to the account that you've switched the password. 
and then click on that so this is the easiest way so guys thanks for watching consider subscribing to my youtube channel and stay connected thanks for watching